were a day away from the capital. I ordered the hind to do a flyby of the city and report back. Well, they never managed to get to the city. They brought back photos. There's something standing in the middle of the city. We estimate that it's at least 150 feet tall and human-shaped. It's partially transparent. It has gray skin, and in every single photo, no matter the angle, its face was blurred out like a digital effect was used. They said it was standing stock still. We're going to hold position for 24 hours, or until we can figure out what we're up against. Whichever comes first. I've never seen anything like it, and neither has anyone else in the camp. Anyways, I've taken to meditating again during our nights. Avery's joined me, trying to make contact with her divine magic. She keeps saying that she can almost feel it. That it's just out of reach. In other news, even with all that's gone on, Mike and his lake-talented girlfriend have gotten even closer together, and Mike's starting to think of popping the question. It's on his mind constantly. Mike, if you read my journal anytime soon, she's going to say yes.